Uh, so the problem here is called the Rubenstein sparkling game. And the story behind this is you have a cake, initially size one, and then the size would shrink. Basically, dad would come in to eat a portion of the cake so that the, the size of the cake is shrink to delta to the power t after t rounds off the bargaining. And the two kids just bargain in a way such that kid one would propose a division first. So, so kid one basically proposed what fraction of the cake to give to myself and what fraction to give to the other kid. And kid two decides whether to accept or reject. That's called one round. And in the next round, we will switch and kid two would propose and then kid one would, would decide. So they keep going. And at the end, after the infinite number of rounds, then the cake will re reduce to zero. So they kind of have, have incentive to not keep bargaining. They want the cake to be divided. I mean, they want the proposal to be accepted at the beginning. So that, that would be the, the key, key assumption we'll make. We will assume that the kids will bargain in a way such that the first offer will be accepted. So, so we'll, we'll solve the game, the simpler version with only two rounds first, and then we will use induction to, 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 to find the pattern basically, and then we'll be able to solve for the infinite period version. So I will draw it here. So suppose n is two, let's draw a simple diagram. So the, the first kid will propose first. So the first kid can propose, I can give 100% to myself and zero to the other guy. And, uh, or the kid can propose, I will give zero to myself, 100% to the other kid, or I can do something in between and all of, the, all of them are possible. So let's just draw a triangle to represent say all, all of these divisions. So in particular, let's choose one, call it x and one minus x. And so x is the fraction that kid one will keep and one minus x is the fraction to give kid two. So in, in all of these cases, kid two will decide whether to accept the offer or reject the offer. And then kid two now would propose. So kid two would propose again the same thing, uh, either all to him or herself or all to the other kid. So suppose a very general one is y and y minus y. And then kid one here would choose to accept or reject. Now we write, need to write down the payoffs. So we need to make assumption that at, at the end of the bargaining, dad would come in and eat everything. So they are, if it's rejected all the way, I'll get zero and zero. And if it's accepted, so know that there are two rounds. So at the beginning of the first round, the cake size is one. Here, the size becomes delta already. So if the division is y and one minus y, then the first kid gets delta y actually, because the size is not one. And the other kid will get my one minus y. So that would be what I get. And similarly here, if it's accepted in the first round, then I'll just get one times X and one times one minus X. So those will be the payoff. So we will reason this the same way as the pirate game. So we from the end of the game and then we go back. So here I'm comparing whether I means I'm kid one. Kid one is comparing between accept and reject. So kid one will accept if and only if accept it's better for me than reject and accept is better for me than reject if delta y is larger than or equal to zero, which basically means y is larger than or equal to zero. So kid two will propose the least amount. So kid two will propose the amount that's best for kid two, such that kid one will still accept. So that's the key intuition here. We'll propose such that we'll propose the minimum to kid one, such that kid one still accepts. 
So that's the key idea here. Then how should I propose? Of course, I'm going to propose zero to to kid one because kid one will actually accept y equal to zero. So basically, I'll propose y equal to zero here. So let's move up a bit. So here, I know I'll propose zero and kid one will accept. So how should I propose here? So let me find a place to write. Let's write like that here. So kid two here will accept if and only if. Uh, here I'm deciding whether to accept or reject. If I accept, I'll get one minus x. And if this number is larger than if I reject, when I reject, I'll move down this path and move here, which I'll get delta one minus y. So delta one minus y, but I know what y is because I will propose zero. So y is equal to zero. So that, that's what will happen. So again, player two or kid two is deciding. If I accept, I'll get one minus x. If I reject, I'll follow the path, the optimal path. Basically, I'll follow the path where I propose zero to the other kid and, and the other kid will accept which means I'll get basically the whole cake, but the cake has size delta. So uh, kid two will accept if and only if one minus x is larger than delta. So kid one, again, will propose in a way such that it, 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 it minimizes the fraction to kid two while kid two will still accept, while two still accept. So what would that be? X exactly equal to one minus delta. So X would be equal to one minus delta. So now we know at the beginning of a, a two period game, what we will have is the proposal will be one minus delta and delta. So one minus delta to kid one himself and delta to kid two. So we're going to extend this to a uh, four period game. So drawing a four period game and doing the same thing is kind of time consuming. So l let's only draw a, a two period one and assume we solve the remaining already. So let's do it. So here two is deciding accept or reject and then two is proposing accept or reject and and this is basically, suppose the total number of periods is four, let's erase this, then here is a, is a two period or two rounds game. And we solved the two rounds game already. And the solution is the first player playing one, kid one will propose one minus delta and delta. So we, we know that, so we put this in and solve the whole thing. So, so let's do that again. So at the beginning, the size is one, here the size is delta, and here the size is delta squared. So if the proposal is like this, I will actually get delta squared plus delta, mm, so, sorry, delta squared minus delta cubed and delta cubed. Uh, however, instead of actually substituting the number, let's just call the, the, these z and one minus z so we can check, get kind of a general formula relating two period and four period game. And and that formula will, by the way, also be the relationship between four period and six period, six period and eight period. So we can get a very general formula if we don't substitute the particular value, one minus delta and delta. But, but we will do it at the end. So here, basically what I will get, let's use another color. This is delta square times Z delta square times one minus z here. Accept is the same thing as before. So the total size is delta. Suppose this proposal is y, so delta y, and delta one minus y, and this is just x and one minus x. Suppose this proposal is x. So let's repeat the same thing. So at, at the end, kid two is deciding whether to accept or not. So if kid two choose to, so uh, I'm sorry, this should be kid one. 
So kid one will choose to accept if this number, because if I accept, I'll get this. If I reject, I'll get this from the remaining rounds of the game. So, so I would accept if delta y is larger than or equal to delta square z. And kid two will, will propose the minimal amount such that it is accepted. So we we can guess it's just setting them equal and solve it. So y is z, I mean delta z. And uh, let's move up. Here, if I, if kid two accept, kid two will get one minus x. If kid two rejects, kid two will get delta one minus y. Let's actually use another color. This. So I'm comparing this number and this number, and I know why already. So combining all these three pieces of information, kid two here will accept if and only if one minus x, this is the amount I get from accepting, and the amount I get from rejecting is continued to the next round. I propose this, the other guy accept me, so I'll get delta one minus y. So delta one minus y, what is y? Y is delta z. So then using the same logic, kit one will propose the minimum amount such that it will be accepted. Basically again, setting this equal and solve x is one minus delta plus delta squared z. So now we have this very important formula that relates the initial proposal of a, say, m plus two period game or m plus two rounds game, and this one is the initial proposal, which will be accepted, by the way, of a n rounds game. So we, after we know this relation, it's very simple because we solved the two rounds game already, it's one minus delta and delta. So we, if we put two here, we can get the initial proposal of four rounds game given two rounds game. And similarly, given the four rounds games initial proposal, I can get the six rounds game initial proposal. And we basically can keep doing this until we, we can find a pattern and then we can take the limit to infinity. And that's what we'll do. So here, if n is 2, then we solved already manually that this is the initial proposal is 1 minus delta and delta. That's what the first kid would propose at the beginning of the game. So when n is 4, we would use the formula 1 minus delta plus delta square z and one, one minus whatever this thing is, so I'll not copy it. So we know z is the initial proposal of the two round game, which is that. So let me actually put it in, one minus delta. Let's simplify this. This is one minus delta plus delta squared minus delta cubed. And this is one minus whatever this thing is. Because at the beginning, the size of the cake is one. So if I propose this to myself, the other guy gets one minus that. So, and when n is six, let me repeat this again. It's one minus delta plus delta squared times z. So I'm using the formula again. Now the z is this whole thing. So let's actually substitute it. So one minus delta plus delta squared minus delta cubed. That seems very complicated. One minus the whole thing. Again, I'm not going to copy it, write it down. And uh, let me copy it here. One minus delta plus delta square minus delta cubed plus delta four, uh, is it? Minus delta fifth and one minus whatever this whole thing is. So now I guess you can see the pattern. So if n is infinity, The proposal would just be one minus delta plus delta squared minus delta cubed. 
plus delta 4th minus delta 5th plus delta 6 minus delta 7th plus so on until we reach infinity. So we can actually sum this. Let's sum this by factoring out 1 minus delta. So factoring out 1 minus delta from the first term is 1. From this term, it's just delta squared. I'm sorry. So here is delta squared. And just factor 1 minus delta from this guy is delta fourth and delta six and so on. So we know how to compute this. One plus x plus x squared plus so on is equal to one over one minus x, as long as x is less than one. So here delta, delta squared is less than one, so it's okay. So if we substitute x is delta squared, you get the same expression. So what this is is one minus delta one over one minus delta squared. And one minus delta squared is one plus delta and one minus delta and one minus delta on top. So we can simplify to when n is infinity, the proposal will be one over one plus delta and one minus this is delta over one plus delta. So that'll be the solution to the infinity period.